I shoot and reload six different calibers. Uh, when I go to the range, I come back with a couple bags full of, of mixed brass, uh, 45 auto, 40 cal, 9 millimeter, 308, uh, you name it. I've got, you know, a bunch of, bunch of brass. I've got two of these little range bags that I, I use to collect brass. And they're both almost always full, and more often than not, I've got several hundred more cases uh, in the range bag that uh, uh, won't fit in these little bags here that come with came with my range bag. Uh, so obviously, before I can reload them, I need to, to separate them by caliber. I also separate mine by manufacturer, and uh, in many cases by lot number as well. Uh, what I see so many people doing. They come back from the range, they've got a bag of brass, and they just dump the, the, the brass into their tumbler and, and get it all, you know, clean or tumble it all at the same time, you know, all together. The problem with that is the cases of different calibers fit inside the other case. For instance, here's a 40 cal case and a 223 case. That 223 case goes in that 40 cal uh, easily. Now, of course, it comes out no problem, but when you put it in a tumbler, uh, what invariably happens is you get a little piece of uh, uh, media, whether you're use, using a wet tumbler with stainless steel media or you're using a vibratory tumbler with corn cob or walnut uh, media. Uh, some of that media gets stuck between the outer case and the inner case, and then they become, you know, uh, inseparable. And in some cases, so much so, you got to use a pair of pliers to pull the, the, the cases apart. Now the problem with that, of course, is that the inner case won't get clean properly. For example, if you look at this case here, you can see the, the part that was not inside the other case is nice and clean. But then we have down here at the bottom, the part that was inside the 40 cal case is still dirty. It doesn't get, uh, doesn't get clean properly. So you end up, you know, having to, re to clean this, this case again. So, before you run home with your mixed cases and uh, dump them in a tumbler, you really need to sort them by caliber first. And that takes a lot of time. I mean, I come home with a couple thousand uh, cases, and it takes, you know, hours to, to do. Now, the company called Shell Sorter, who came out with a product called Shell Sorter, oddly enough, uh... Essentially what it is, is three tubs with progressively smaller slots in each tub. You've got a yellow one uh, that is, will hold 45 auto, uh, 44 magnum, 308, uh, 45 colt, that kind of thing. But anything smaller will pass through uh, into, you know, these are designed to fit into a five gallon bucket. So you can put this on a five gallon bucket, pour your brass in, shake it up, and all the uh, smaller calibers will fall into the, the five gallon bucket. I do mine a little bit differently. I just keep them stacked like this. The blue tub uh, will retain a 40 Smith & Wesson, 10 millimeter, uh, 38 special, that kind of thing. And anything smaller then will drop down. Uh, the black uh, tub will retain 9mm, uh, 380 auto, uh, things like that. Anything smaller, like the 22 uh, cases that you end up with in your, your bag, uh, any media material or, or, or dust or whatnot, then will fall down into the 5-gallon uh, jug. And then, of course, a uh, big problem for most reloaders is separating the 9 mil from the 380 auto. They're so close. The 380 autos are a little, a little shorter, but you really have to sit and look at each one of them and, and try to determine uh, which is which. Well, that's where the 380 plate comes into play. Uh, what it'll do is it'll pass 380 auto uh, through, but it'll retain the 9 mil. So it's uh, it's a handy little thing to have. Now you can buy this in several different versions. You can get just the three tubs, um, or you can buy what they call a value pack, which uh, includes a 380 plate. Uh, they also have a 38 super plate, uh, which I don't have, but uh, 
uh, that's another option that you can get. Now I found that if you actually go to shellsorter.com and, and buy the value pack, it's like, uh, I think it's like $55 from, from uh, directly from the, the Shell Sorter uh, website. On Amazon, uh, the value pack like this with three tubs and a 380 plate is about 70 bucks. Uh, Midway USA will sell you this part of it, uh, the three tubs, for around 40, 40 or 50 bucks, I think, and then you have to pay another 20 for the 380 plate. So uh, it seems cheaper to me just to go right to shellsorter.com for, for 55 bucks, you get the value pack, and uh, uh, you're done. Now, some safety precautions you should take when using these. One, I always use a little little mask. It's one of those little surgical masks that uh, uh, you fits over your mouth and nose. The you end up with a lot of dust and and powder and and you know just grime and whatnot uh, comes up off the uh, the cases when you when you're shaking these around. So I. I uh, usually wear one of these. Now the, the brass I'm going to sort here has all been cleaned already, so I'm going to forego this. I'd also recommend a pair of safety glasses. Um, I had a, uh, a piece of uh, uh, corn cob material hit me in the eye one time when I was uh, shaking this up, and, and so I typically wear uh, uh, a, a, you know, safety glasses now when I... When I uh, uh, do my my sorting with the uh, tubs. The now most people I've seen use these one at a time. Like they'll take the the yellow plate, put that on top of a five gallon jug, and 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 do that, and then they end up with all the smaller stuff in the five gallon jug. I do mine a little bit differently. I just leave them stacked like this. I put them on top of the a five gallon jug. And what I'll do is I'll take some. Um, in one of my bags. Pour a little in there. You don't want to pour too much in there. You want to do it in small batches at a time because if you get too much in there, uh, it won't. Uh, the cases won't fall through properly. Uh, so you just basically shake it up. Maybe take your hand and run them in there. And with the yellow plate, it's going to retain the 45 auto. Uh, I got some 308 cases here. I can grab those because I can see them. Uh, separate them from the 45s. And then I'll dump the uh, 45s into uh, another bucket for uh, uh, tumbling together. And then I'll do it again. Uh, put some into the yellow plate. Shake it up. I end up with 45 and uh, 308 in the yellow plate, and I just keep doing that. Until I end up with enough in the blue plate, or the blue tub, to uh, and now I have all my 9 mil and my uh, the, uh, uh, the 30, 38 special uh, they kind of the, the body will go through the, uh, the, the slots but the uh, rim catches on the slot so I end up with my 38 uh, special and my uh, 40 cal in the blue plate. And then what I can do is take these, uh, dump these into a separate bucket so that they can be uh, tumbled together. And then I'll start the process over again with the yellow plate down to the blue plate. And eventually then I end up with enough in the black plate that's sitting on top of the five gallon jug. Uh, and any 22s or uh, tumbling media, dust, 
things like that will fall through and my 380s and 9 mil uh, will be will be held in here. So it'll also uh, uh, keep 38 Super and, and 223s uh, in the black plate. Okay. Now, at this point, I've got 380 Auto and 9 mil mixed together in, in the same bucket here. So what I can do is I can take my yellow tub, put the 380 plate in, make sure that my slots line up there. Dump that into the yellow tub with the 380 plate in it. And then shake that down. What that'll do is retain the uh, 9 mil, but allow the 380 auto to pass through. And then what I end up with then is all my 9 mils here, and you can see that my 380 autos uh, drop through and would be in my bucket if I if were using a bucket here. Uh, so now I've got my 380 auto and my 9 mil separated uh, very easily. So this whole thing takes uh, a lot of the uh, agony out of uh, separating brass. And, you know, with I don't know how much you shoot, but I come home with at least a couple thousand uh, cases uh, from the range uh, every weekend. So I uh, uh, really really like the, the, this thing it, it, it saves me a lot of time and I can uh, uh, quickly uh, separate my brass and then tumble all the similar uh, calibers together so that I don't uh, I don't end up with the you know case in a case situation that uh, uh, causes this you know half clean half not clean situation nice little product that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If so, please click the like button. Maybe even subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and happy reloading.